Today we're going to talk about what is the best way to dive if you're a diver from Australia. <gasps> If you're a beginner scuba diver, this video is gonna help you to explore the hobby in the most cost-effective and the most fun way possible so that you can actually enjoy and soak in diving as it was meant to be. And this comes from my experience as a diver as well as a dive center owner, so listen up. Because this might be the video that will save you lots and lots of money and add you more and more fun as a diver. So you're a new diver and you don't know where to start. Well, here's the thing. In Australia and around the world, there is licensing for scuba diving. When you scuba dive, there are four different licenses that you can take. Open water, advanced, rescue, dive master, and instructor. All of you wanting to do diving would have to go through licenses from bottom up. Now, there's a big difference between being licensed with open water license and not. So let's say you're not open water license, then what do you do? You wanna go for a dive, you have to do what's called a discovery dive. In Australia, discovery dives cost anywhere between $100 to $150 inclusive of all the gear. Now, $100 discovery dive experiences usually happen inside of a pool, and $150 dive experiences usually happen out in open water. Almost all of the dive centers out there do not wish to take people out on their first dive at a beach or out in open water, even if they do get that extra $50, because it is a lot of headache. They prefer you to take you to a pool, get you used to the gear. Now that you've spent $100 doing that and you want to do more, well then if you want to go to the beach, then you'll still have to pay that $150. That means without being licensed, every time you go out for a dive, you're going to pay $150 to go out underwater for about 30 to 40 minutes, which is how long a tank of oxygen will last underwater for many, many beginners. That makes diving an extremely expensive hobby. Now, to avoid this, my suggestion to you is that you should go and get the open water license. Open water licenses cost anywhere between $400 and $500. Our dive center, Blue View Diving, charges about $400 for you to get an open water license. Open water license also includes two to three dives in confined water, which means they're pool sessions, and another two to three dives, which is open water sessions, which means that you're gonna dive about five times to get your open water license anyway, only for the price of $400. That way you actually do the training step by step, and you can actually discover the hobby like it was meant to be. So instead of doing the discovery diving, which is at $99 all the way to $150, my suggestion to you is that just go for the open water course anyway. Once you have the open water license, then what you can do is you can join dive masters on a dive day and just pay for the gear that you want to hire. Now, the gear that you hire will include your wetsuits, your booties, your fins, your masks, your BCD, your regulator, and of course, the oxygen tank itself. Borrowing all of this only costs about $80. That already is a lot cheaper than paying $150 to go for a dive. Now, with that experience, you basically are given everything. You gear up, you go in the water, you come out, you take it all off, and all that gear is washed by the dive center and maintained by the dive center without you having to worry about it. Now, you might want to start grabbing more and more gear. At the beginning, you might start with some of the lighter equipment like your mask, like your fins, like your wetsuits, which are pretty low cost to buy. And of course, some of you might be more avid divers so that you'll buy your BCDs and you'll buy your regulators as well. If you have that full set of gear, then an oxygen tank is something that your dive center can provide anywhere between $30 to $40. That means your dive now costs only only 30 to 40 dollars each dive which is amazing so some people depending on how often they want to go out diving will then buy their own gear as well now this is only possible if you have the open water license if you are non-licensed you can't just borrow gear in fact you can't borrow gear in the first place if you're not licensed at all so that's why it is highly recommended if, if i were to do it all over again i wouldn't waste any money doing any discovery dives or anything else like that just go straight for the open water license now you might think that open water license might be cheaper to get overseas you could not be more wrong. I actually did my open water license in Philippine and that place costs actually a lot more to do open water license than what we are able to offer here in South Australia 
in Australia. So it is incredibly important that if you're going to explore this hobby, you might as well just go for the open water license. And it is not a bad license to have if you were to never dive after that either. And I would still argue that it is still the best way and a fun way to experience it. After the two or three sessions in the pool, your first dive in the ocean is going to be more fun and enjoyable rather than just going straight into the ocean, no matter how confident you may feel and finding that this is terrible and, and you're panicking and there's just too many things to remember. I know it's a very simple breathing exercise underwater, but that might be how you experience that experience, which might ruin the hobby for you. Because as you can see from my channel, that there are so many beautiful things to see underwater. So then what next? Now that you've got the open water license and you can go to the beach and do these 40 to $50 dives, fantastic. But is that all? Absolutely not. Now, beach dive is amazing. Now you have the opportunity to go dive overseas where there are more things to see, more beautiful things to see. And yes, your license will become more and more important. Some of these dives will require an open water license or maybe advanced license as well. But most of them will require open water licenses. So what am I talking about? These are live on board diving experiences where you basically get on a massive ship it has enough rooms to house 20 divers and there you are given food every day cooked fresh and every day you wake up you dive and then you rest for an hour you dive again you rest for an hour every day you get to dive up to four times in a day which if you think about it is almost four hours that you get to spend underwater witnessing some of the most beautiful animals and wildlife in the most beautiful and the most amazing climates and locations around the world. And these famous locations include Maldives, Raja Ampat in Indonesia, Philippines, which are all tours that we are offering in Blue View Diving. And, and if you think about it, oh, well, going on the ship, living there for, let's say, seven or eight days seems very, very expensive. Absolutely not. These trips range anywhere between uh, 25000 to about you know $5,000 for the whole trip. So let's say on average, you spend about $3,000. Across seven or eight days, that works out to be $340, $350 that you're spending a day. A trip to Melbourne, you get yourself a hotel room, you get yourself a nice brunch and a nice meal out at dinner. And of course, you're paying for booze as well. You're gonna blow way past that budget and it's gonna be just like any other trip to Melbourne. Instead, you will spend about the equivalent amount of money every day. You'll be given healthy food, lots of exercise, lots and lots of fun, amazing company, and sites that will absolutely gobsmackingly awestruck you because they are so beautiful. So that's the thing, these live on board experiences are absolutely amazing. If you are a diver, and even if you would even just go there just to sightsee, that's how beautiful and secluded these locations can be. And the concept that is live on board is that you get on a boat or a big ship and it just sails out to where nobody really set their foot in. So everywhere you go is going to be very, very exclusive, very, very isolated, which means that you're going to see more of that nature, which is why we all dive. So to sum up, I will summarize your diving experience as the following. First, go get yourself an open water license. All your gears are included and once you get your license, you will know if you want to do more or not. After you get your license, go do some regular local dives and find yourself some gear that you like to use. After that, look into going overseas for living on board expeditions and experiences or some packages where you can then dive for even cheaper and are able to see even more wildlife as well. This is the ideal and the most optimal path that we have experienced ourselves as the team in Blue View Diving and myself as a personal diver myself. And this pathway comes highly recommended and you will spend the least amount of money and maximize the fun that you can have as a diver. More information is available in the description below. Visit blueviewdiving.com. If you haven't done so, make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I'll see you in one of our amazing and wonderful dives. Stay tuned, join our Facebook group, join everything, go follow all of our social, and I will see you in our next dive. Peace.